Chapter One, The Coming of the Iron Man. The Iron Man came to the top of the cliff. How far had he walked? Nobody knows. Where did he come from? Nobody knows. How was he made? Nobody knows. Taller than a house, the Iron Man stood at the top of the cliff on the very brink in the darkness. The wind sang through his iron fingers. His great iron head, shaped like a dustbin, but as big as a bedroom, slowly turned to the right, slowly turned to the left. His iron ears turned this way, that way. He was hearing the sea. His eyes, like headlamps, glowed white, then red, then infrared, searching the sea. Never before had the Iron Man seen the sea. He swayed in the strong wind that pressed against his back. He swayed forward on the brink of the high cliff. And his right foot, his enormous iron right foot, lifted up, out into space. And the Iron Man stepped forward off the cliff into nothingness.